Hey everybody, this is Kevin. I'm with Bohemian Reactor Simulations. Today we're going to talk about using VBS4 for a vehicle identification trainer. Uh, I'm currently in the editor, as you can see. Uh, I've talked about how to use the editor in uh, other videos, so we're going to kind of breeze past a lot of the functionality and go straight into the training. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is, in order to identify a vehicle, you first need a vehicle. So we're going to select on the vehicle uh, button on the left-hand side, and we're going to double-click where we want to place our vehicle. Uh, I've also described this window in the editor video, but we're going to use a couple different features to make it easier to search for different objects. So in this menu right here, you can filter for specific things. So in this case, I can search for M1A1s of different varieties of different uh, countries. So in this case, we put a desert M1A1, and then we can position the camera and look at it. Uh, I can also uh, double click and filter by side. So op four, blue four, green four, and civilian entities, I can place different content in here uh, and filter it according to what side they're on to make it a little easier to filter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, another tank. Let's put a challenger here. And now we can talk about how you can use this to um, train in vehicle identification. The first key that's important to note, um, in a very basic use case, you can just simply hide the user interface by pressing the I as in India key. I can then position the camera around and look at the objects from different locations. Um, I can also cycle between different uh, rendering modes, different thermal modes, by pressing the N as in November key. So we've got thermals, green hot, red hot, uh, and back to normal. Uh, and then what we can also do is we can augment this by looking at these two vehicles from um, the eye point of a different entity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a nice vantage point over here. I'm going to place a, another vehicle. This one will be a... Optic, set it to player, so that when the scenario starts, I can look at it from the optics point of view. Let's just make sure he's pointing in the right direction towards the tanks. And then once I'm happy, I press the H key to preview my sequence. All right, so the scenario is loaded. I can now enter the optics mode, and you can see that I've got the symbology of the actual device I'm using. So now I can ensure that um, you know my trainee is able to use the correct uh, range uh, finding capability, you know, distance guessing. I can use mills. I can use different thermal modes. Uh, and then the important thing about this is uh, this is the trainee view, but I can also uh, watch this happen in real time from the administrator view. So right now I've just pressed M as in Mike to view where the trainee is looking at, allowing me to modify the scenario. So in this case, let's replace uh, both of these vehicles with a, um, let's do a T-72. And let's do another T-72. So in this case, what I can do is I can put these vehicles in different locations, uh, but I can also ask the trainee, hey, which one is more of a threat? Now you can see that this check one over here has uh, the check roundels, different weapons, different camouflage patterns. So maybe the trainee will uh, be able to answer this question based on identifying features of the vehicle. Uh, I can also add waypoints to them. So in this case, let me put down a, a striker. And I can give them waypoints. So now the trainee has to uh, guess the vehicle's uh, movement or speed or other systems like that. So now I'm going to go back to training mode. And if I press the right key, we can see the striker move, and I can guess its range, I can ensure that I'm able to train in that uh, specific circumstance. So again, very uh, simple use case, but using VBS4's features, we're able to do some pretty complex things very quickly. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this today, um, and if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on our website. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.